In Europe, phone apps can notify users if someone they meet has been diagnosed with COVID. This aims to fight the virus, but it also means people are being tracked. NTD's David Vivez meets with a political analyst and hears his concerns. For about a year, contact tracing technologies have been used in Europe to help slow the spread of the CCP virus, also known as novel coronavirus. While it allows people who've activated the application to know if they have been in contact with COVID cases, it also keeps track of people's movement. And the data collected is shared between countries. Another measure supporting this contact tracing system, the Health Pass, which allows people to travel within Europe. Political analyst Eric Verag says in Europe, the app and pass reinforce each other's population tracking. Health Pass is part of a strategy to track people from the European Union. Its objective is to get people used to being tracked. On April 29th, French President Emmanuel Macron implemented the Health Pass in France, saying it was his idea. By the end of May, the EU Commission suggested the sanitary pass should be implemented on European countries. We then understood this was one of the measures discussed by government leaders within the European Council. The NIH cites a study by Oxford University that says around a quarter of people in the UK use the app on a regular basis. In France, the COVID app has been activated by 20 million users, according to government figures. As lockdown measures ease in France, the Health Pass, which works together with the application, will be mandatory to attend to certain places or venues. But this is raising concern about protecting people's privacy and personal rights. Berag says this is a part of the Great Reset Agenda, a program written by Davos Forum leader Klaus Schrab and economist Jerry Malray, which suggests tracing populations internationally, and it mirrors the surveillance system of the Chinese Communist Party. Schwab and Malray say there are tracing and tracking technologies. In China, people are being identified and stalked as soon as they go out in the street. This is tracking. Whereas well, tracing, as in Europe, means once people go out on the street, we want to be able to identify people and they are in contact with, where they go, etc. According to official sources in the UK and France, the more people use the app, the better it will work in preventing people from getting the virus. In France, no study so far has confirmed this. A UK study shows about 6% of those notified went on to get tested for COVID a number in keeping with traditional contact tracing methods. David Ives, NTD News, Paris.